We have our combination circuit here. Our generator, we have our output voltage of 120 volts. The mode is disconnected. We have 240 milliamps going through the generator. We can calculate exactly what is being generated here, and that is our no mode voltage off the generator. Okay? We know we have 240 milliamps times 1.5 ohms. What is that voltage? Pardon me? 360 millivolts. 360 millivolts. Plus our 120. That means this generator is draining 120.36 volts in order to get us 120 volts output. Okay? We're at 120.36 volts. That is our no load voltage. That's our saturated voltage on our generator. Our output voltage will just go down from there with our shunt generator. Okay? Now, if I close this, If I close that, okay, we'll keep this at 240 milliamps even though our voltage will change. We'll have to come back and correct that later. We know we have 5 amps through here. We don't know what our low voltage is at this point. <clears throat> okay? We come over here. We're going to change that to 5.24 amps. 0.24 plus 5, our total output is 5.24. Okay? Does that give us an internal voltage drop of 7.86 amps? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. 7.86 volts. Okay, so 5.24 amps times 1.5 ohms gets us 7.86 volts. Okay? So, generating 120.36 minus 7.86, what is our new mode voltage? Okay? 120.36 minus 7.5. 112.5. One, I'm sorry, 112.5. 112.5 yeah. volts. Okay? That's our new mode voltage. Okay? We're at 112.5. We're not at 120 anymore, are we? No? Right. So what happens here? 112.5 divided by 500, what's our new current? 225 milli. Okay, 225 milliamps. A small change, so we're going to have a small reduction in output voltage. Okay? But once you look at this, you do your calculations here. We know we're going to have an internal voltage drop here. You can calculate that voltage drop and calculate your power loss inside your generator. Okay? This power loss that we have here is why we will never get out the same amount of power that we put into a generator. Okay? But look at this very simply. If we come over here, now we increase this to another 5 amps here. Okay, where are we at here? 10.24 amps. 10.24 times 1.5 gets us how many volts? 15.36. Okay, 15.36 volts. Okay, 120.36. Minus 15.36. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Okay. 105 volts. Is that right? 
105 even. Why doesn't the now lower voltage then cycle back through and make it does. Lower so it does. It so does. It, it, it does. It's going to drop down a little bit more than what we're actually calculating here. There's a limit to our recursion of what we can do as far as our calculations. We're just doing a first step calculation. Okay. Okay. But it gives you an idea of what's happening inside this generator. Okay. We've got the reduction in voltage as a result of the IR drop inside the armature. You've got the heating up of the generator as a result of the I squared R loss in the armature. Okay? It's a very simple generator, very inexpensive to make. You wind your armature, you put your shunt field on there, it brings it up to voltage, it works fine. Okay? Other questions on this so far? So basically, the higher the load, the bigger the voltage drop. Uh... Correct. The higher the load, the bigger the voltage drop. That's what I showed the chart here. Okay? You have your rated voltage. Here's your full load current. And it's going to come out and it's going to start dropping down. Okay? And you're going to have your contributions on there. You have your contribution from your I squared R, from your drop in the magnetic field. Now what about that drop in armature reaction? You guys remember us talking about armature reaction in the neutral plane for your brushes? Okay? Remember in lab, the armature reaction, if the, if the interaction of the magnetic field is causing a shifting of that neutral plane, you're no longer shifting it. Of switching your brushes at the optimum location. Okay. That's going to cause an additional drop in voltage. So you've got your three contributions here. Shift in your armature reaction, shift because of the IR drop, and a final shift down there because of the loss of your magnetic field. Okay? Now one of the things we're going to talk about next is a separately excited shunt generator. And that eliminates one of these losses over here, okay? And it eliminates this loss due to your magnetic field drop because we can keep this voltage constant on here, okay? Then we only have our two losses, our loss due to IR and our loss due to the... Uh, the, um, gosh, what was that first one? The magnetic field shifting. Okay? 